Hi there, it's Peter here again, the guy who hates tomatoes but loves front-end development. In this video you will learn how to set up Webpack 2 with the hot module replacement that will enable you to refresh your CSS without reloading the page. Very cool feature of Webpack 2. But before we do that, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Today we will talk about hot module replacement and that is a simple way of how to update your application view, JavaScript or CSS without refreshing the page. So let's say you update your CSS style sheet and you don't want the whole page to re refresh, you only want the bits related to the changes to update straight into the view without refreshing. So in a simple terms this is something similar to live reload but it's much much smarter. I have a simple structure with one app.js and app.css or scss file and then we've got the webpack configuration that we've done in our previous videos so if you followed all my webpack 2 tutorials you would be very familiar with what all these configuration means. All we have to do for the replacement for the hot module replacement is to turn the dev server into the hot mode. Hot true will enable the hot module replacement and we also need a couple other things. The first one is at the top we need to include webpack and then we'll need to include two plugins at the bottom inside of our plugins array where that is coming from. If we go to the guides from Webpack, there's a guide on hot module replacement for React, but for now we'll just grab the pieces of code we need for the CSS to work and we'll get to React a little bit later. And let's scroll down a little bit. This is where we're including the Webpack and the other bits we need, the other plugins we need is hot module replacement plugin and name modules plugin. So copy these two lines and paste it inside of our plugins array. Like this, we can remove the comments. And these two plugins will enable the hot module replacement. The other thing which you need to remember is that hot module replacement out of the box doesn't work with the extract text plugin. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna turn it off for now, disable true. So we're turning the extract text plugin off and inside of the .scss config here we will remove the te extract text plugin. So all we have to use here is the style loader together with CSS and the SAS loader. Okay, so we can remove the rest. So this is the basic configuration. So for now, forget about extract text plugin. We'll get to it a little bit later. And now let's try to quit the build and run it again. npm run dev. We're gonna have the page open in a new window, which we configured last time. Everything is valid. We don't see any issues. And if we go to our app, dot js and import the css import css from and then we'll just type in the path of our css file and then we will also write simple console log message that should show in the chrome dev tools and save the file it's building up now we should see the imported css loaded and Inside of the console, we see the hot module replacement waiting for the update. Okay, so this is now working. Here is the console message from the app.js. And let's see if the CSS is updating. If I change this to red and save the file, you'll see that we've got the hot module replacement triggered and only the app.scss was changed. And that's why it was updated straight in the browser. And if you watch the refresh button, you'll see that that doesn't change, okay? So if I change it to blue, save the file, watch the refresh button. 
the refresh button stays as it was. So we're not refreshing the page when we are changing our CSS. This is really cool, especially when you have a larger application. It will simply just replace the necessary parts of your CSS and JavaScript files. And this is very, very handy, especially on larger applications. At the start of the video, we had the extract text plugin working and now we've removed it because the hot module replacement doesn't work with it out of the box. So let's see how we can still use extract text plugin, but only when we are running in the production mode. Okay, as you know, in the package JSON, we have two scripts. One is running the dev mode and one is running the production mode. So how can we run the extract text plugin only in the production mode? And when we run the dev server, we still want to use the hot module replacement for our CSS. So how can we do that? We'll tackle it next. And that's it all for today. Hopefully you've learned something new about Webpack. In the next video, we will have a look how to keep the extract text plugin only for the production mode and keep the hot module replacement for the development mode. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.